Good day guys, so today we're going to solve this problem using parallelogram law. So let's read the problem. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force FR equals F1 plus F2 and its direction measured clockwise from the positive U axis. So this is the illustration of our problem. And as you can see guys, there are two lines intersecting each other. The line V and our line U. So let's make that as our guide in determining the angles around our forces. So let's make the U and V our axis. So let's draw the forces F1 and F2 on our axis U and V. So this is now our forces guys in U and V axis. So let's determine the angles guys around our forces. Since these two line guys are intersecting each other, then the opposite angles are equal. So, if this angle right here is 75, then the angle right here which is its opposite side is also 75 degrees. And we already have the value for this, this side which is 30 degrees. So let's subtract 75 minus 30 so we can get the angle right here which is 45 degrees. The line U guys is a straight line. So the sum of its angle is 180 degrees i mean the angle right here right here guys that is 180 degrees and we already have the value of 75 and 30 so let's subtract guys 180 minus 75 minus 30 so we can get the angle right here which is 75 degrees now that we already have the value for the angles guys now let's make our parallelogram so let's draw the parallel lines from the tip of our force line I mean from the tip of our force 1 let's draw a parallel line of our force 2 so right here guys and from the tip of our force 2 let's draw a parallel line of our force 1 right here that is now our parallelogram guys so let's draw the resultant line so from this tip right here let's draw a straight line from the tip of our parallel lines and that is our resultant force or our resultant line guys now that we have our parallelogram guys the resultant line which is right here guys divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles now let's determine the interior angles of our parallelogram so let's determine the angle guys and remember guys that angle 45 is only from this line right here our force 1 to the line of our u axis that is not the angle for of our force 1 to the line of our resultant line so the angle 45 is only from this line to this black line guys so let's determine so let's determine the interior angles of our parallelogram guys and also the sum of our parallelogram guys interior angles the sum of the interior angle of a parallelogram is equals to 360 degrees that is the sum of all the angles interior of our parallelogram and this side right here guys we can get the total angle for this side that is 45 plus 30 so that is 75 degrees and in in the parallel in a parallelogram guys opposite sides in the interior are equal so if that is 75 then this angle right here is also be must be 75 degrees so this is also 75 degrees and the angle right here is equal to our angle right here so let's determine that the angle of that one since we already have the angles of both side i mean the two angle so let's subtract it to our, so let's subtract it to our 360 degrees so 360 minus 2 times 75 degrees and let's divide it by 2 so we can call this as our angle a this is also our angle a so angle a is equals to we can get the value of 105 degrees so this is 105 and this is also 105 since these two angles are congruent we can 
choose any of the triangle guys so let's choose this triangle above so let's draw that again so this is now our triangle guys we have the angle right here which is 105 degrees and our magnitude this on this one this is our force one then that is 4 kilo newton and this line right here guys is parallel that is this one guys and this line right here is parallel to our force 2 so this must also be 6 kilo newton so this is 6 kilo newton and our resultant force is on this side so let's get the magnitude of our resultant force guys so since this is not a right triangle so we can use we can use guys the law of sine and the law of cosine seeing that we already have the two sides and one angle we can use the law of cosine so let's use the law of cosine so let's get the magnitude of our r so r squared is equals to 4 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 4 6 cos 105 degrees so let's square root both sides guys to cancel the squared in our resultant thus we can get the value of our resultant force equals to 8.0264 kilo newton so that is now the value of our I mean the value of the magnitude of our resultant force now let's determine the direction of our resultant force guys and measured clockwise from the positive u axis so let's go back to our parallelogram guys so this is our u axis this line right here and this line right here is on the right side so this is positive and this line right here right here is on the left side that is negative so from the positive u axis we go to the resultant line clockwise so from this line right here we go to our resultant line so this angle right here guys let's determine the value of that angle so first we must get the value of our angle on this side guys so let's determine the angle for that one and we can use the law of sine in determining that angle so let's make that as our angle theta so guys angle theta we can get the value of that using the law of sine so sine theta over 6 is equals to sine 105 over 8.0264 thus we can get the value of our angle is equals to arc sine 6 times sine 105 over 8.0264 so the value of our theta is equals to 46.22 degrees and remember guys that our theta guys is only the angle right here and what is asked in the problem is the direction of our resultant force force from the positive u axis clockwise so the 46.22 degrees is only from the angle right here so that is 46.22 degrees and what is asked is this angle guys since we already have the value from this line to the black line or the line of our u axis which is 45 so let's subtract 46.22 minus 45 degrees thus we can get the direction of our resultant force so 46 minus 45 degrees guys that is 1.22 degrees and that is the direction of our resultant force from the positive u axis clockwise 